Hello everyone, I'm back with yet another vlog and this time is a cooking video. Today I'm going to be making for you a inst almost instant mashed potatoes in a can. I have tasteful selections, take and shake fresh potatoes, black pepper, rosemary, and thyme, contains either gold or red potatoes, as you can see, got this at Walmart, and they, they are absolutely delicious, so let's see what the manufacturers gave for me this time, ooh, they gave me red potatoes, as always. So, according to the directions, you're supposed to microwave this for three and a half minutes, add the flavor and shake. So, let's put that into. Make sure that you have the contents in your microwave and don't don't put anything in the, have it empty. It's very dangerous. As you can see, don't add the flavor before cooking. So yeah, put that aside. Also you're gonna eat Zoe's Spice Kitchen Spice of Life that goes good with meat, burgers, fish, french fry salads, poultry, veggies, and popcorn. And I use this on just about everything. You're going to need Lowry seasoned salt. It's good for a steak on beef, pork, poultry before and after cooking, season any ground meat for great burgers, after french fries, baked or mashed potatoes, for popcorn, eggs, rice, and pasta dishes. Sprinkle on salads, vegetables, and soups, and sauces. And also you're gonna need cray gold, milk from the, milk from grass-fed cows, Irish butter with canola oil. Utensils, you're gonna need spoon and fork to mash. So yeah. I'll be back once the potatoes are done. Disclaimer guys, when you get this out of the microwave, let it sit for a few minutes because it's going to be very hot. You want it warm, not scalding hot. You're wanting to remove the vent carefully very carefully as to not burn yourself because I have burned myself making this recipe before but it it healed with some water thank god now you just want to add your seasonings and eat it just joking you're gonna get your fork and you're gonna start mashing them until they're at a mashed potato consistency adding in one spoonful of butter well, half a spoonful, because this organic butter does not come cheap. So one, and then another one. Now you're gonna start mashing it like so, like that, and you're gonna be spreading the butter as you go. So I'll come back when they're all mashed. Now that your mashed your potatoes are at a mashed potato consistency, you're going to add just a bit more butter. Just that much. And you're gonna grab some scissors or you can just turn off with your teeth. But for me, I prefer to use some scissors. 
that I could get every bit of mixture as I can. And you're just going to snip off the end and make sure that it's actually cut to where it's exposed. As so. And you're just going to dump it in. Now for your spice of life, you're going to uncap it. You can get this at Zoe's Kitchen, by the way. Great restaurant. Put a very little. And now for your Lowry seasoned salt, you're just going to add very little. Using the spoon you use for butter, just coat, basically coat it with some butter and put very little on it. And using your finger, because this is a self-served serving, just put a little bit more and mix. Using your fork, you're going to dump out the butter. And then using your spoon again, you're just going to just mix it around. so and it's gonna turn into mashed potatoes you can eat that in that or in a little bowl or anything I'm just gonna use a small little ramekin and now for the taste test Bottoms up. Oh, that's good. That is really good. So anyways, guys, stay tuned for my next video when I make a Betty Crocker's Warm Delights Hot Fudge Brownie Mix cake.